So I just want to do this viral study not facing me. Um, and prior to it, I want to pray for all of the saints because we have an enemy and that enemy really wants to hurt us. And that enemy can seem or feel strong. So God, I just pray against the spirits in the air that want to hurt the body of Christ. And I pray for the body of Christ to strengthen us by your might and the inner man. Amen. So prior to Paul getting saved, oh, that's my AC kicking on. Thankfully, it was getting too warm. Um, prior to Paul getting saved, he was called Saul. God renamed him Paul, which I learned recently means small, um, humble, or small. And when and if I have a baby boy, I definitely want to name him Paul. I love the Apostle Paul. I love all of his writings. He just, God, through the Holy Spirit, blessed my heart reading Paul so much. Um, and I'm a dispensationalist, and I believe that the body of Christ began in the middle of Acts when um, Saul became Paul, and God led him to the knowledge of grace um, just by believing on the cross we're saved. So. Anyway, um, but prior to, prior to his salvation and hearing from God and realizing, oh wait, Jesus Christ is Lord, he was, he was persecuting, um, the church of God and thinking that Jesus Christ wasn't, wasn't God. And, um, some people that also believed this, they, they would get convicted, and when they would get convicted, cut to the heart, they gnashed on Stephen, on him, with their teeth. Okay, so, gosh, that's, to be gnashed on with someone's teeth, that's just awful. Um, yeah, he was saying, which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which showed before of the coming of the just one, Jesus, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. So they were convicted and they not, yes, they knew what he was saying. It was condemning them. Um, but he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Behold, I see the heavens open. He's not even focused on all this pain going around. This is strength in his inner man. Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing on the right hand of God. May we all just like pause and like just you know, be still and know that God is God. Even if we were to be gnashed on with teeth from people that are following demons that just don't have the Holy Ghost, have the love of God, may we get strengthened in our inner man. Then they cried with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord. Gosh, what a what a childish thing! God, I don't want to hear what you're saying. Let me stop my ears, dear Lord. If you're in the right, you're not gonna do this. If you're in the wrong and you're stupid, you're going to do this. Stop your ears, and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Saul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Lord, lay not the sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Stephen was just like, I'm ready to go home. You know? And you know... At least one person didn't have doesn't have the sin that sin to their charge, and that's Paul. Now Paul said that, and I've gone over before. Some people can become just like seared and just like a demon, and you know, um, and then that kind of souls their feet. 
because <laughs> they're just they don't care they don't care about love if you don't care about love okay I you're not gonna listen to Bible studies ever again because you just don't care about love you've decided I like nothing okay but Paul said that he obtained mercy because what he did was ignorantly and unbelief like he was just dumb and he didn't he didn't realize that Jesus was the Lord had he realized that Jesus was the Lord and it not been ignorantly and unbelief, he would have been bitter, too bitter to have received grace. But he just was stupid. Um, and then he gets saved later. But that's about it. Um, yeah, a lot of people hate Christ. And you gotta, you gotta know what to pray. Obviously, this prayer definitely when when Paul went to heaven he met Stephen and I'm sure Stephen embraced Paul and said you know I forgive you what you did was ignorantly and unbelief and you accepted the blood of Christ and Jesus Christ is your Lord but you know some of these other people probably the people gnashing on him with their teeth I don't know about that I think that's a little far gone there but you know um wicked if someone's wicked just for the sake of being wicked man you know get away from that person they're gonna they're gonna gnash on you <laughs> um but yeah paul we'll see him get saved in acts 9 saul saul this is jesus saying why persecutest thou me I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. It's like, what you are doing is dumb. You are kicking against pokey things. <laughs> so, he gets saved. So, God asked me this morning, he was like, who deserves to be loved? And I'm like, well, anybody that can receive your love. And that's, that's pretty pretty accurate i'm just gonna say that's pretty right there's you know probably more to it than that anyone that wants the love i i guess i sh should say that rather than just wear a box that's open to receive it like if you want to be loved you should be loved but realize god hates the devil so you know um if someone is just like i hate god and i will always hate god and i hate all people like okay there's not really hope there but there was definitely hope for paul he had a tender heart and he wanted to be loved all right that's that's about it he was definitely a chosen vessel i love paul and forgiveness is something that i will talk about next how do you forgive someone what if what if Saul was consenting to to your family member's death, you know, and then he's like, oh, shoot, I was wrong, like, Jesus is Lord, and now I serve him, what, what would you do? How would you forgive someone that, like, put your mom or your dad to death for Jesus' name and now is serving God? That's what I'm going to talk about next.